Hello. Hello. All right. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. So we will continue the material that we used yesterday. It's about the story of the life of a flower, right? Yes. Do you still remember the story of the flower? The flower? Mm -hmm. Do you still remember the story that yeah. you read? Okay, so I guess there's no need for us to have a review or are we going to have a review first before we continue the activity? Okay, let's have a review first about the life of a flower before we continue to the activity, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm going to read it for you. Poppy Flower was born in a large flower patch on the edge of the town of the Roose View. Her parents were Daisy and Sweet William. From the moment she was born, she grew up, she grew like a weed. She grew to her full height very fast. Her leaves were vibrant green, and her petals were the brightest shade of orange anyone had ever seen. Before long, all her friends started calling her fireball because her colors were so bright. So meaning, the, uh, the poppy flower was born like a weed, but she grew up so fast. And then her lips, uh, the color are vibrant green. Okay, and her petals have the shade of orange. That's why. That's why all her friends are started calling here her fireball. 
Papi spent days painting. Okay, and until such time, the the, uh, the pictures that he paints was sold to the galleries, and then he received a letter from the president that want her to paint a picture of the president so that it could be hanging on the wall. All right, let's continue to the structure. Are we done with this? Yes. Okay, now let's go to the exercise. It's about the story, the life of Papi Flower. Now here's the question. Why did Papi get the name Firewall? Is it number one, she had a red hair? Number two, her colors were very bright. Number three, her lips were shaped like fire. Yeah. Or number, number two, four, her roots were green. Okay, it's number two. Can you read the number two? Number two, her colors were very bright. All right, because her color were very bright and that's correct. Number two, can you read the question? What will describe a pig? Mm -hmm. Number one, curious and cruel. Number two, mean and a troublemaker. Number three, talented and popular. Or number four, timid and shy. Number Number three. Can you read the number three? Talented and popular. All right, it's talented and popular. Okay, let's continue. Number three. The idiom to grow like a weed means. Is it A, to grow in the shape of a weed? To grow towards the sun? To grow very fast. To grow very fast. All right. Very good. Okay, very good. Now, number four. Why did Papi get a letter from the President of the United States? Can you read your number one? Number one, the President wanted her to paint him a picture. Number, Number two, two, the president granted her to live, live. live in his life. Number three, the pe president granted to pick her for his daughter. Number four, the president granted to put her in a race. Oh, what is the answer? Is two. Number? Uh, number one, number one. It's number one. The president wanted him, I uh, wanted her to paint a picture of the president. All right, let's fill in the blank. Oh, example number one. Papi's flowers leaves were vibrant green. What about number two? Happy so the picture to uh do you remember the story uh, when she sold her pictures? Yeah. All right, she sold the pictures to to galleries across the nation. Number three, Papi's leaves blank as she opened the email from the White House. How did you feel when she opened the letter from the president? Oh, 
Happy lips, blank. Uh, she what? what? Patch. Patch. Hmm. Uh, no. We have, it, we explained, I explained it yesterday. It's one of the vocabulary that you read. Uh, it's an, another example of being excited, being afraid. Popularity. No, because the word popularity means if you are admired by the people, you are very popular. All right, I will give you the answer. Papi lips trembled as she opened the evil from the White House. Okay, now number four. Papi chatted politely and signed blank for all her fun. If you are very popular, if like an actress, an actor, you will going to sign. All right, you're going to sign autographs for your friends. Okay, yeah. now, that's enough for the reading, reading material. Now let's continue to, wait, what is this? Uh, writing. We will proceed to the writing activity. And after this lesson, I'm going to give you your homework because I think I don't remember that you have a homework. Okay, this is called the film review. In this activity, you are going to write a review about the film. But before that, uh, I'm going to ask you what is the favorite film or the favorite movie that you want to watch? Uh, I want to watch. Uh Marvel, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Far From Home. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I ask you because that will be, I will give it to you as an assignment later, okay? But for now, we're going to discuss first about this film review about the movie Hunger Games. Have you seen this movie? Yes. Yeah. Okay, it's great that you have seen this movie. Okay, I will read the first paragraph for you and then you will read the second paragraph. Film review, The Hungry Games, Sky Fi Adventure. It's a sky film, okay, sky film adventure. In the future, the USA is a new country called Panem. Every year, the capital of Panem chooses 12 bo boys and 12 girls to go on a TV show called The Hungry Games. In this TV show, the teenagers have to fight until there is on, only one person left. Katniss goes on the show and she has to run fast and fight to save her life. Can you continue the second paragraph? Uh, I love the actors, this film, this film. Jennifer Lawrence, Lawrence. Liam, Liam Hemsworth, and Josh Hutchinson are fantastic. That's Cat Nice. Cat Nice. Girl and Pepper. <laughs> My Peter. My favorite character is Cat Nice because she is, she is very good at running. And fatty. Also, I think that the film is good because it is exactly the same as the book. I give the Hunger Games five star. So I go and watch it soon. Mata. The All right. This is this is ten years old. All right. Okay, this is a review from the girl named Marta, who is from Mexico. What about you? 
uh, based on the movie The Hunger Games, how many stars you are going to give to the story? Five stars means it's fantastic. Four, it's really good. Three is okay. Two is bad and one is terrible. How are you going to review the movie Hunger Games? The movie, the movie is uh, really good. Mm -hmm. So you're just giving it four stars only? You're just giving the uh, rate of four stars. It's really good. Uh, can you tell me the reason why you gave four stars? It's, uh, it's not not my my favorite my favorite film, and I just uh, watch one time and I don't watch again. All right, so that's your own opinion. Now let's continue to the next slide. Okay, let's answer this question here. It's about the movie Hunger Games. Okay. The so Hunger Games is a. Is, all right, it's a sci film adventure. It's an adventure film, an adventure movie. Number two, the USA is a country called? The Hunger Games. No. Oh. It's Panem, okay? Blank, how many uh, boys and girls go on a TV show called Hunger Games? It's day, it's month, it's year. It's day. It's it's year. Okay, let's go back to the story. Okay, it is very important that after you read the story or the sentence, you should understand it carefully so that uh, you can answer correctly to activity. Okay, so the Hunger Game movie is a sci film adventure in which 12 boys and 12 girls have to go on a TV show called Hunger Games. And in this TV show, each teens or each character should fight with one another, okay? And, and only one winner should be left. So you should be fighting for yourself to survive. And each year, only 12 participants in, it, in each places should uh, how I'm going to sure, join the show. Okay, let's continue. Number four. In the Hunger Games, the boys and girls have to A. Win a running race. Number two, fight until they are the last person left. Now, let's see. Fight a new country called Panem. Fight the new country called Panem. Okay, a correct answer here is to letter B. I said it that they will fight for each other until, until only one person left and the TV show called Hunger Games. Okay, Martha's favorite character in the film is Katniss, Gail, or Gita. Katniss. All right, it's Katniss. Martha thinks you should blank. Watch this film. What do you see? Okay, she thinks you should watch this film. Now, there are sentences inside the box, okay? Wait. This is the first sentence. Each sentence can be, and uh, you will differentiate it if it is a fact or an opinion. Do you know what is fact? Meaning it's true. Opinion, it means that it's not true. It is just based on what you said, based on what the other people say. Okay, look at sentence number one. It's a sky film, adventure film, okay? 
Is it a fact or an opinion? It is based it's on opinion. general review. It's opinion. It's opinion. But I guess it's a, but, but I guess it's not. Okay, I want you to go back on the story. Here. Read this. I'll give you five minutes to read this to read and understand the story. Okay, are you done? Yes. Okay, let's go back to the activity. Okay, first, I'm going to give you an example. It's based on the fact it is stated in the film review that Katniss goes on the TV show, right? Yes. Okay. And what else? Katniss uh, goes on the TV show is a fact. Is the fact the fact is I think that the film is good. I think that the film is good. Do you think it's a fact or an opinion? The fact. Okay, it's uh, it's an opinion eh? because it is asking about. Mm, your review the sentence i think that film is a good is good is your opinion like you said when i ask you how do how are you going to rate the uh, movie the hunger games you said it's really good because you think uh, because that is not your favorite film that's why you give it only four stars Okay, next sentence about fact is, in the future, the USA is a new country called Panem. Okay. In the future, the USA is called Panem. is a fact because it is stated, it is based on the movie. Okay, next sentence. It's a sky adventure film okay did you read it did you read it and uh did you read it in the story or in the review that it's a sky fi adventure film yes yes that's why it's a fact it's true now the film is called the hunger games and that is also a fact right yes okay now next I think you should go and watch it soon is an opinion because she is just saying or suggesting that you should watch it. You should watch the movie. Next is 
my favorite character is Katniss is also her opinion because each of us has a different favorite character in the movie, right? Right. Right, like, like for you, your favorite character in the, the movie that you watch, the, the Mar is it the Marbles? Who is your favorite Marvel character? Yes, yeah. Okay. Now, I think that the film is good. It's also an opinion because she is just saying that the film is good. And your opinion, you said the film is really good. That's why you gave it four stars. And, he lo and she loves the actors in the film. It's also her opinion. Now, let's continue. Tips for writing. Because I'm going to, uh, what is the favorite movie that you want, that you want to watch? The title of the movie or the film that you like? Incredible. Incredible. What is the story of this movie? Can you tell me? What? What is the story of the movie? The story of the movie is uh, the a family superhero. Mm -hmm. And they uh, and they is action to have the uh, have all our people in the CA mm -hmm. and uh in incredible is uh incredible is no no is can't Okay, save your answer later because you're going to write it and that is your homework, okay? You're going to write a film review about the movie, Incredible, okay? Look at the number one. You're going to write the title of the film and the type of film when it was made. It's a, is it a comedy? Um, Another genre of a movie. It's a comedy and fighting. All right, and you're going to explain the story of the film, but don't spoil the ending. Don't say what is the ending of the story. Okay, and you're going to state what is your opinion about the film? Your opinion, like who is your favorite actor, uh, the favorite character in that movie and you're going to state why he or she is your favorite and number five you should tell people to go and watch the film okay like what you read oh wait I, my slide is freezing Okay, copy that, that tips on how to write a film review.
Tell me if you're done. Okay, are you done? Yes. Okay, now let's go back to the example. Can you see the screen, the story of the film, uh, the film review? Yes. Okay, let's. Because my slide is freezing, I can't. Okay, that is the example. You're going to write the title of the movie. In this film review, the title is The Hunger Games, right? Right. Then you're going, number two, you're going to specify what is the genre of the movie. And then you're going to write your opinion. At least two paragraphs. You're going to write who are the characters, what is the story about. Okay, and then you're going to give uh, your opinion and then your ratings. And if you're going to encourage the other people to watch the movie, okay, you're also going to give it stars. How many stars do you want to, to give? Okay? Okay. Okay, so you have... Since our class is only Saturday and Sunday, you have enough time to make or to answer that homework, right? Right. Okay, I will wait until Friday for your homework, okay? But for now, we will continue our lesson since we still have 10 minutes, uh, we still have 9 minutes left. Wait, 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 I will fix my laptop first. I'll wait. Is, do you have some question about the homework that you're going to answer? Yes. 
that you're going to do. You can ask me if there are things that you don't understand. Is there any question about the homework? Hello? Hello? Is there any question about the homework that you want to ask? No. Okay, so I guess you understand how to make a film review. Now let's continue to the next topic. It's in the listening skills about a restaurant, okay? Okay. Let's have this vocabulary first. I think this, this word is about food. Number one is steak. 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 P. I think it's P. P. Broccoli. Broccoli. Appetizer. Appetizer. Main dish. Main dish. Dessert. Dessert. Can you read the next word? Spinach. Spinach. Fries. Spinach. Right. Oh, onion. Um, onion. All right. Next slide. You're going to listen. Practice one. People are ordering food in a restaurant. You're going to listen about what is its person's order. Okay? All right. Let's start. Unit 12, Restaurants, page 46. Two, let's listen. People are ordering food in a restaurant. Listen and check each person's order. One. Are you ready to order? Yes, I'd like to start with the salad, please. Okay, and what would you like for your main dish? Hmm. I'll have the spaghetti. Is it good? I've never tried it. Uh, anything to drink? Tea, please. And how about dessert? Not today, thanks. Two. Hi there. What can I get you today? Well, let me see. I'll just have some soup and a salad. Sure. Soup and salad. Our special today is grilled fish, and that comes with broccoli or peas. No, thanks. Not today. I'm not very hungry, but I would like some chocolate ice cream for dessert. Sure. Anything to drink? Coffee. And some water, please. Three. Hi. Have you decided yet? Is the beef stir-fry very spicy? Yes, it's pretty hot. Hmm. I think I'll have a hamburger and fries then, and a glass of milk. Anything for dessert? The cheesecake is excellent. <clears throat> no thanks. All right, do you want to listen one more time, or do you get all the orders? Do you want to listen one more time or you already get their orders? Can I listen? Listen one more time. All right. Unit 12, Restaurants, page 46. Two, let's listen. People are ordering food in a restaurant. Listen and check each person's order. One. Are you ready to order? Yes, I'd like to start with the salad, please. Okay. And
And what would you like for your main dish? Hmm. I'll have the spaghetti. Is it good? I've never tried it. Uh, anything to drink? Tea, please. And how about dessert? Not today. Thanks. Two. Hi there. What can I get you today? Well, let me see. I'll just have some soup and a salad. Sure. Soup and salad. Our special today is grilled fish, and that comes with broccoli or peas. No, thanks. Not today. I'm not very hungry, but I would like some chocolate ice cream for dessert. Sure. Anything to drink? Coffee. And some water, please. Three. Hi. Have you decided yet? Is the beef stir-fry very spicy? Yes. It's pretty hot. Hmm. I think I'll have a hamburger and fries then, and a glass of milk. Anything for dessert? The cheesecake is excellent. No thanks. All right. Are you ready with your answers? Yes. Okay. What are the orders for number one? Number one is uh, the house salad. Vegetable salad, okay, it's the house salad. Did, what about dessert or drinks or a mean dish? It's spaghetti. All right, next order. Um, Jesus is not mm -hmm. What about the drinks? Drink is tea. All right, very good. Number two, what are the orders for the number two? Number two, soup of the day. All right, next. Next is uh, red. Uh, not have man dish. But she ordered a salad, right? Oh, uh, salad. Soup and salad, okay. What about dessert? And dessert is ice, ice cream. And the drinks is? The drink is coffee. All right. Number three, the orders are? Uh, chicken. So, no, the order is uh, hamburger with hamburger. fries. Okay, next. Next is coffee and uh, tea. It's milk. Did, did he order dessert? Fresh fruit. Now, listen to number three. Hi, have you decided yet? Is the beef stir fry very spicy? Yes, it's pretty hot. Hmm. I think I'll have a hamburger and fries then. Right. I think I have a hamburger and a glass and of milk. Fries. And Anything for dessert? The cheesecake is excellent. No thanks. All right, he didn't order desserts and appetizers. Okay, it's enough for today. I'll see you again in next week. And remember to do your homework, okay? Okay. Okay, so goodbye. And see you again next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.